Alright guys, Jason here again with another tutorial. I'm going to show you how to embed a contact form into a button on Revolution Slider. So if you see here, this is my, I'm just going to refresh it and watch them all come in, the animations. That's why I love Revolution Slider. They've got the animations that pop up, they have the countdown, which is awesome. And shall we notify you? Yes, join now. And as you can see there, there's the embedded contact form. It's actually an opt-in form, so it pops up on top of the screen. Now there's tutorials on how to do this uh, that the developers have made that don't work. Uh, there's a tutorial on how to do this for... Uh, it's in German. I couldn't understand it. And it was just... It was the button with a text box. You can input the information and then it would pop up. It wasn't an opt-in form, which... The opt-in forms look great. Uh, as you can see... Here they really convert. They, uh, I mean, they have a better conversion rate because they look good. They fly in. They look amazing. Exclusive offer, and uh, I'll be offering this to my current customers, or not customers, sorry, to my current viewers. And you could win a marketing plan. You just have to join the newsletter, and you want a marketing plan. Uh, disregard the photo shoot. You're not in my area. I run a, a digital marketing agency, so. Uh, that won't be uh, applicable to you guys unless you're in the area then can meet up and I could give you some pointers alright but let's get into it uh, we go to 7 slider revolution and yours may say revolution slider not the 7 but it's a little bit different but it'll look the same so we'll go to the page that we're going to be adding the button to and as you can see here, click Static Global Layers. And then scroll down into the editor. And there's the button. So we're just going to make a new one just for the sake of the video. Uh, we'll delete this one. Okay, so you're going to want to go to Add Layer, Button. And choose a button you like. I'll change the background to a... Uh, red, a little bit more transparent, a little opaque, there we go, actually make that a little bit darker, great, so we'll leave that, uh, text is good, looks good, hover state, we'll leave that alone for now, so click here, there's our button, now you're going to want to go to either one of your uh, forms, form plugins. I use convert plug. I like convert plug because the forms look really cool. Uh, they definitely seem to add that design effect that everyone's looking for nowadays. So go into this will be the same different for every one of you unless you're using convert plug. And if you're not, I already have it popped up here. So all you want to do is go into where your form is located and copy the short code that is going to be in here. So I'll show you that right now. And convert plug, it'll be underneath the gear, manual display, and short code. So copy your short code and simply paste it into your button by double clicking it and then command V on a Mac something different on a Microsoft or Linux and then copy the text that's already in there don't delete it copy it and where it says your content you're gonna wanna paste it and once it's pasted in there might have just messed that up. <laughs> Let's go ahead and back that up a little bit. So, add layer, add a button. Double click your button. Sorry guys, I'm having a little uh, issues here. Uh, so, 
Go back to your model. Keep that copied. And copy the short code and paste it. And then where it says your content, remove that and inside those brackets add the code that's already in there. Now if you're using a different button that doesn't include the favicon, the chevron in here, you can see it pops up right there over here. Uh, that favicon uh, class will need to st still be in there. But if it's not including a favicon, it'll just say click here. And you can just add that into the center of where it says your content. And you copy that, paste, and that's it. So I removed all the spaces that were in there and click the check mark. And then as you can see here, it's huge. Oh, forgot to remove the top one. Let's remove the top one. So now the content that was in the button is now embedded into the center of the shortcode. My dog is so weird. <laughs> He's rolling around on his back and scratching and doing weird stuff. Anyways, so to make this shorter, all you do is just shrink it. And that'll be the size that you want it to be. And then you want to bring it over here. I'm going to delete this one. And then put it where you want uh, vertically. And then horizontally, you just click a layer align center. All right, so now we click Save. Go say Designs Inc. And there it is. And you can add uh, animations in there if you want. And now if you click here, as you can see here, it pops up. Let's test it. And there you go. That is how you embed a contact form or opt-in form into a revolution slider. If you guys have any more questions, uh, leave a comment in the video. Good, better, or indifferent. I like to hear people's reviews. Uh, I'd like to know what I'm doing wrong and what I'm doing good. Also, if you click the link in the description and click subscribe, You'll get more information on how to edit these and also how to increase your traffic and how to increase revenue through online marketing. I run a marketing agency, USA Designs and Marketing. Uh, we're offering right now, if you join our newsletter, and you can just you know, click here. Oh. <laughs> Anyways, if you join our newsletter, we'll give you free tips and tricks on how to increase revenue, uh, how to make money online, and how to you know, do what everyone who's on YouTube doing. So. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a great one, guys. Take care.